What's up guys, this is Brett here from brettdev.com coming at you once again from Chiang Mai in Thailand. And today in this video guys, I'm going to talk to you about retraining. And I get a lot of questions over on the channel, people asking me and, or telling me, Brett, I'm, I'm retraining, I'm switching careers. And a lot of them are learning web development, a lot of them are learning programming. The, the majority of questions that I'm getting and, and, and the trend I seem to um, be picking up on is when people are asking me this, they're saying things like, Brett, I'm saving enough money for a year and I'm then going to come out to Chiang Mai and I'm then going to use that period of time to learn to code and hopefully by the end of that year I'll be, I'll be earning X, Y and Z enough to support myself to live. So these people are coming from a background where they, they don't code already, they're not web designers already, it's completely new and fresh but it's something that they and perhaps you want to get into so that they can either travel I guess or, or change career, they may be in a job they don't like or maybe they want to live in Thailand or somewhere else and, and support themselves online. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good question because it, it's got me thinking and it gets me thinking back to when I was young, when I started to learn to code, when I learned to become a web developer. So I'm just gonna share a little bit of a story with you and, and how I originally got into it because it's, it's, it's not easy and it, and it does take a long time to learn and pick up. Um, is it doable? Absolutely, like if you, if you, if you are motivated you can definitely do it, especially today. Um, it will take you guys a lot less amount of time. You will learn in a much shorter period of time than what I originally learned to code. When I, when I first learned to code, I was, I was building websites back when I was a teenager at school, um, hacking MySpace pages and building music websites, stuff like that, back on um, GeoCities, if any of you remember that. And um, I wasn't really messing too much with CSS, it was kind of like, the equivalent to your your divi builders and your your drag and drop builders of today but 20 years like not 20 years maybe 10 15 years ago so surprising actually because technology just hasn't changed one bit um in theory but um so I, I started doing that back in the day back then there wasn't the resources that you have today there wasn't um treehouse there wasn't code school there wasn't these fast track uh, boot camps all these fast track courses and and um, and now they're amazing now they're interactive and you can code with them and you can copy examples and they'll tell you if you're right or wrong treehouse is a great one and um, but these didn't exist so, so back when I started doing it the, the hardest part of it was it was just so damn hard to learn because you had to find out how to do things I mean there was documentation there were blog posts but you were just reading 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 like if you wanted to know how to do something there wasn't really there wasn't YouTube there wasn't YouTube tutorials, right? So there's very few screencasts. If there were, they were kind of self-hosted and buried away on other websites, and it was limited. So if you wanted to learn one thing, um, I remember I remember like learning learning WordPress back in um, 2007 or 2008, how to build themes and stuff. And um, so this is like 10 years ago, and I learned from from a really in-depth blog post. And I was so lucky that I found the blog post, and it was one of the, the guy that made it was one of the first guys to ever make a a blog post on creating themes and it was step by step. It was really difficult to just learn to actually code, just to find the, the, the resources that, that would help you. Like, I always recommend books because that's what I was used to and that's what I, that's what I learned on books. So I, I still think they're the best. Um, but can it be done in a year? Can you learn to be a web designer, a programmer? Um, if you allocate a certain amount of time, if you're coming from no background, uh, yeah, I, I think you can, especially today with, with, these, with these new resources that are available to you, it's certainly doable. Time is a, is a real issue as well, so for those of you that are learning to code, you probably have full-time jobs. A lot of people that message me aren't kids, a lot of people that are messaging me are kind of like adults that just want, to, want a career change, so hence retraining. Um, now the biggest problem here obviously lies with time, because if, if you do want to learn to code, if you do want to become a programmer or a web developer, it does take time. So I just digressed about how long it took me years uh, and it won't take you that long, but you do still need to find time. So in order to be good at programming and proficient enough that you could actually do it for a job, you need to be practicing. So at least I would say two to three hours a day to get, to get good at it, especially Maybe if you're not doing it, want to just do HTML, CSS, but if you, if you really want to actually learn to do it as a career, you need to know um, either like strong skills in a front-end technology like JavaScript, or you need to have strong skills in a back-end technology like 
um, PHP and object-oriented programming. You, you really do need to put the time in to practice. So how do you find that time? Now, if you're doing a job that is already really time consuming and really laborious, um, I saw this great video with Gary Vaynerchuk about a year ago and he was saying, find a job where you have to do the least. Um, and it's such a good example and it's, it's actually exactly what I did. So when I was like 19, 20 years old, I worked as security in a nightclub and I did that for six years. That was great because I only worked evenings and I only worked between two and four evenings a week and I got paid about 100 pounds a night. So during the day, I had all my free time to just learn to code. So, and I could really get into practicing. I could practice on clients. I, I didn't have a day job, um, not all the time anyway. So I used that time to, to um, build up my programming knowledge and that was what I was doing the entire time so I would work in the evening I'd wake up in the day and I would code all day long uh, and I did that for years and that, that is how I found the time to become a, a good programmer so you, if you guys can find something like that it, like I say if you already do a job that is like really time consuming and it's not allowing you to, to, to practice two to three hours a day and you have to practice on consistent days guys you can't just say I'm gonna learn to code on a Saturday um, you, it's just not going to stick, you're not going to learn anything like that, or at least I wouldn't. Um, so you need to be practicing every day, daily. And if your job is interrupting that and you are really serious about a career change and you need to either do what people are, are coming at me with messages and saying that is save enough money and then come here or go somewhere where it's cheaper to live and you can just slowly dedicate yourself to, to just learning. Um, that's kind of like throwing yourself in the deep end, but that's good, it's a good way to learn or you need to kind of um, think about changing your career or maybe earning less money, right? Because money is not the most important thing. So when I was, when I was working security for those six years, every single one of my friends had a day job, right? They were all carpenters or builders or lorry drivers and they were earning pretty decent money for just doing pretty general jobs, right? And not only that, so they, they would pull in their, 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 their weekly wage, maybe six, seven hundred pounds, and then they'd do the door uh, three or four nights a week, and they'd be earning really good money, like four or five grand a month. Um, and I had plenty of opportunity to go and get jobs like that during the day, and I just didn't do it, because it's not what I wanted to do. So it takes sacrifice as well. You can't think about the money all the time. So for years, I could have been earning really good money, but had I have done that, I would not have the skills that I have now that affords me the life that I'm able to have now. So maybe, don't obsess about money and just really try and think about time. Time is more precious than money because because in the long run, you, you're going to get that back tenfold, right? So ultimately, it, it, it just takes sacrifice and hard work. So um, that is how I would approach retraining as a programmer. And another thing to mention, guys, when I was learning to code back when I was 19, 20 years old, um, the programming and coding wasn't big. like. There were no, um, there was no Facebook. Like I said, there was, there was MySpace, but there was no, like if you look at job listings now for for people that are programming, web development, um, the the demand is so high that supply can't keep up with it, and that is why programmers and developers now get paid such fast sums of money. There was no guaranteed job of a hundred k if I if I could just learn JavaScript. Fucking hell! If 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 I if, if that was available then. I would have just I would have dropped everything and I would have done what people are, are suggesting to me that they're going to do. They're going to come to Thailand for a year and retrain. I would have absolutely done that because when I was learning, I was doing it just because on a hope and a whim that I could perhaps get a job one day doing this thing that I like doing and probably wouldn't be able to because it was on the on the computer and no there was no real technology jobs in that capacity and it was just kind of emerging. So if if you're looking for motivation, Jesus, there's there's you're guaranteed a incredibly high paying job, probably four times what you're earning now in less than a year without a degree. Um, all you need to do is just take that period of time to study it and learn it. Um, that's great motivation right there for you. So I hope you find that video useful guys. Like I say, I'm rambling a little bit, but it's just, it's just brought up, brought back some memories. And um, I just wanted to share my approach with those of you that are looking to retrain, looking to get into coding, looking to get into programming and, and switch up your career for, for the better. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe 
And until next time, guys, this is Brett from brettdev.com, and we're out. Peace.